So this is going to be a quick little video. I just want to show you guys this place. And I didn't want to do it as a short because this is a really magical place. So we'll start off over here. And then I'll cut the video and walk over to the next section. But first we'll start off. We'll be checking that out here in a couple seconds. But it's got this cute little pond. It has little frogs in it that kind of make that doing noise. A little bit of a pool. Then out there on the other side, you see that boat, those bubbles? That's the spring gurgling up to the surface. Now comes the cool part. I don't know if you guys can see it's steaming yet. Got a little skylight. There it is. See that steam? I can get in here without having to crawl through here, but this is just neat. I'm nerding out right now. Make sure I don't scrape my back again. That was painful. There it is. Can't tell how deep it is. Good. You can kind of see some of the wall. A lot of it is just reflection. We measured it at 120 degrees, and that was at a distance. So who knows how hot it is. Awesome, neat little punch bowl. Yeah. And a spectacular view to boot. Okay, here's the next one. Come on, come on. There we go. That one re registered at 110. Got a nice little stream. I don't want to go over there and walk because that's a delicate soil. But you can see the shelf. Look how beautiful that is. I hope these colors come out. It's just like a beautiful emerald green. Hear that? That is like some very bright red. It's gurgling up from the ground. And this was registering at 120. Look at those formations. I love hot springs formations. So here's the other side of the spring. That is just so cool and beautiful. If I remember correctly, I think that was 115. The source of that is up here in a little bit. Uh, this way. I 
And that right there is a cold pond. I can't get close enough to read, but since there's reeds, it's gonna be cold water. So here's the source, or one of the sources that feeds into that big pot that we were just looking at. And this was reading 140, and it's deep back up in there. And then head over to this next one and show this one to you. Okay, here's the other one. Now this one isn't a hot one, this one's dead. There's still a little bit of water, but there's not much, only where the green is. It's kind of like a soup water. But what's really neat is a tree was struck by lightning in an old caldera, or old punch bowl. I'll head over to that fence, and that one's still active, but again, it's a cold one. Well, what's really neat about this one is the shell. I'll show you when I get there. So here's the gate to the other one. And people, when you come out here to places like this, remember to lock these gates. When I came here and I did my initial walkthrough, uh, this was open. I mean, it was open. And it's like, come on, people. And there you go. See, that shelf is neat. There in the middle of the pond, you can see the bubbles coming up from the spring. Yeah, very neat. Well, that's it for this. I thought you guys might like to see this just get you excited to do some exploring on your own do it have fun be safe and for those of you who explore in the southwest uh, okay this is fiddly with one hand for those of you who explore in the southwest with all the cattle ranches and stuff always leave the gates on how you found them don't leave them open if they're closed close them with that, I'll catch you on the next one.